and oh, smells. Oh, it's like oh, it's like the whole thing. That's awesome. There's Lovely to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. So, first question, as a cinema chain, we have to ask, why is this the perfect film to see on the big screen? Well, besides myself, uh, <laughs> Godzilla King of the Monsters is a ride. You know, it's an experience. It's It has the movie, just the atmosphere to it. And uh, it's big and bad, and you can't cheat yourself by seeing it on a small screen. You gotta find the biggest screen you can get. Uh, the music in it, the score is amazing. You know, it just adds to the the atmosphere, the environment of the movie, and uh, yeah, you'll have a good time. Our world is changing. The mass extinction we feared has already begun, and we are the cause. And obviously, we expect that with this film, there was a lot of post-production on the monster. So yeah. how much of what the monsters now look like did you know while you were filming? Oh uh, Well, Godzilla, you know, he's pretty established because of uh, the 2014 film. Uh, even though he's bigger and badder in King of the Monsters. It's uh, it's cool to see what they did with Mothra, Rodan, and Ghidorah. I know what they look like from, from the old films growing up a Godzilla fan, but with today's technology, I think that every fan was kind of waiting and dying to see what they look like. And I finished filming Godzilla in, in 2017, so I've been dying to get a, a picture, you know, a still something. And I'm so happy with the finished product, and I know Mike and the rest of the crew are, and... Yeah, it's a piece of art. They are the only guarantee that life will carry on. And obviously for the, the monsters are kind of loosely based on some animals. So if you had mm. to take one animal from today and turn it into like a really scary super species, what animal would you pick? Ooh. Oh, that's a great question. Um, for sure, I feel like a Komodo dragon would be too much. Of a, elephants would be a problem. That would be mm -hmm. an issue. Uh, of course, uh, orcas. Orcas run the ocean. I'm a. That's my favorite animal. So yeah, I, w I would definitely. I need to see what what an, an elephant titan looks like. That seems like that'd be a lot of work. Which of these titans are here to protect us? <laughs> And which of these titans are here to threaten us? The film is set across loads of different locations around the world. So how many locations did you actually get to film in and what was your favorite? Uh, I got to, of course, Atlanta. Atlanta is where we based most of it. But I got to go to Mexico, uh, Mexico City, and it was... You know, that's always a good time. So I, I definitely say Mexico. The people are always so nice. And uh, there's plenty of Ice Cube fans in Mexico, so they loved me. <laughs> and then, and then uh, yeah, it was just dope people, dope time. You are on your goddamn mind. I am sorry, but this is the only way. And then also, I don't know if you're aware of 4DX. Have you heard of 4DX? Mm. So we're exclusive in the UK uh, for 4DX and Cineworld. And it's basically, it's moving seats, it's wind and water and oh, smells. Oh, it's like, oh. It's like the whole thing. That's awesome. There's, there's water, there's rain, there's all sorts mm. of stuff. Um, and this film's actually going to be in 4DX. So, spoiler free, can you think of one scene in particular that would be really cool in that format? Oh, first <laughs> off, I need some sort of tickets to something. That, <laughs> we'll uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, there's definitely... There's, I, I'll say this, it's, it's hurricane season <laughs> at, uh, in, in the film. So yeah, there's, there's gonna be a, a, a few major opportunities and uh, responsibility uh, falls on Ghidorah for that. <laughs> yeah. They're everywhere. Battling for dominance. A rival alpha to Godzilla. You gotta be kidding. For you in general, what is your favorite part about experiencing a film in a cinema environment? Uh, just the fact that you can't be distracted by anything. You know, usually at home we love the comfort of being able to pause and 
and do other things and you you, you kind of lose the experience a little bit when you you get taken away from it you have to remember details that you probably should have just took in when you were first watching it and it demands your attention and it allows you to be engulfed you know just the overall size and the lighting and it allows you to be one with the movie and a lot of times when we think of movies we think of the first time we saw it just like a song and if your experience is, is better, you, you tend to love that movie more. And there's nothing like watching it with a good crowd. A good crowd can make or break a movie. <laughs>